welcome back to Bauna's Kitchen. In today's episode, I'm going to share my uh, cheapest outdoor uh, cooking setup. Now, this is not an entertainment kitchen that I'm using outside. I set up the outdoor kitchen um, for the purpose of frying the food uh, and for um, cooking the food that uh, releases a lot of aroma like uh, you know Indo Chinese uh, fusion recipes and all that um, so in order to keep the um, inside air clean and fresh I prefer to cook sometimes outside so I haven't spent a lot of money um, behind setting up the outdoor kitchen yet um, I have a dream of um, having nice, uh, you know, beautiful kitchen that um, I can use to entertain my guests as well. But uh, right now, that's not my priority. But I have been using this kitchen almost like more than, um, let's say from 2007, this is 2019, almost more than um, 12 years now. Um, and uh, the stove actually that I'm using is also a gift from uh, a family friend and it's still there working great. And, so uh, let me take you outside first how one can set up a cheapest uh, outdoor kitchen or you know it's really not a kitchen actually uh, all I have is just a, a stove and and a picnic table and that's about it almost but uh, a lot of time I got question about the stove that I'm using it's a propane gas stove one can use even electric stove but the purpose of uh, having um, the gas stove is that we I live in Florida and we have a hurricane season here I already have an electric uh, uh, stove inside the house so I didn't want the electric uh, um, stove outside I wanted to have a um, a gas propane tank um, stove so that I can use in a time like when the electricity is out and stuff like that. Frying inside the house is absolutely no no for me because I get headache all the time whether I fry something or whether I cook something really strong with a strong aroma I start getting headache and on top of that if the weather is hot and even if inside it's a little bit hot I get headache so easily um, and whatever you see on my cooking channel I can't tolerate to be in the kitchen you know like more than an hour so I always look for the shortcuts and that's what you see in my videos I always have easy recipes that I share so I uh, prefer to spend less time in the kitchen uh, I mean it's not that I don't like to but it's just that I can't stand the heat and I can't stand uh, you know a lot of aroma I can't handle that so um, I have to watch out for all those things I mean food aroma helps to uh, salivate and digest to food easily but uh, not all aroma is pleasant right so especially when cooking onion or frying specifically so without uh, further delay let's go outside it's pretty hot today so hopefully we can finish the video quickly outside but before we step outside let me tell you something that as you can see um, this house is like an open concept house so the living and sitting room is right there and the kitchen is right here so if i'm cooking something the aroma gets uh, into the sitting room and living room very easily and now let's go outside so here is my porch and there is my cooking setup as i said it's not a kitchen it is just the kind of a station that I have made but very convenient for me so as you can see I haven't even invested in a cover yet I couldn't find the one that light one that fits really well anyway so it's hard to find something uh, custom um, so as you can see this is the two burner stove these kind of stoves are easily available um, on Amazon or Many of the supermarkets, if you go in, into the camping area, uh, you can find them. So, um, there are like four burners, stove as well, two burners, even one burner. So, just go um, as per your need. And uh, there is a propane tank. So, it is ready to uh, set up this uh, uh, station. No special 
skills required and uh, this is very helpful to me during hurricane season um, so this is the picnic table basically I got the small picnic table so that I have a little bit of a uh, area uh, the prep area if I need something to do uh, something chopping or whatever so um, I, I got this table for just uh, around 24 or 29.99 and the stove as I said it was a gift but I see that you can get the very good one even under $50 um, so you can go for that uh, if you are looking for uh, to set up something temporary and uh, I got this island from my old kitchen I don't know if you remember I used to use this uh, island in my old videos for the prep work and for video shooting purpose only so I got that out and so I keep some of the uh, accessories in there so here I have the uh, the lighter ignite um, to ignite the stove so all you have to do is just uh, you know like turn the knob to open and close and then just turn on like with the knob using the knob, knob turn on and then just uh, ignite and hopefully you can see the flame so pretty easy now uh, to make things easier uh, and uh, for the emergency purpose, I have invested in uh, two propane tank actually. So there is one more over here. So I keep both of them um, filled most of the time. But just in case if one of them run out, I don't have to wait. And I can immediately switch to the other one. Uh, I always get them filled from Walmart Supercenter. So pretty easy. The best part is that because this station is um, so lightweight and easy to move around very portable so I can move around easily uh, as per my mood uh, you know like sometimes I uh, place facing this way or sometimes here and so this is uh, where we have our dining um, outdoor dining setup um, and I simply love to have my cup of um, tea, coffee in the morning or even in the afternoon and just, you know, spend little like about 15 minutes of time here and it gives me like a uh, real good uh, boosting, some kind of inspiration, good feeling, good vibes. Um, so it is very important for me to spend a good amount of time outside actually. Cooking outdoor is something that I really enjoy and um, it gives me like motivation to cook more because if I have to keep on cooking inside it just gets boring as you can see like uh, outdoor view is always beautiful from my porch so I simply love to cook here and all these herbs releases amazing aroma sometimes when you know the breeze passes through here it's just amazing um, the aroma of basil even when I water them an amazing aroma so on this side I have the bench and the swing if I want to sit down if I get tired while cooking um, so this is what I have been using for um, almost more than 12 years now and as you can see um, the stove is actually in really good condition um, they are very durable they look like a very uh, flimsy and, and, and you know like you can even lift with your one hand but uh, and when you use actually you have to be a little careful but um, they are like very good and no uh, bad accident ever happened yet good touch but um, you know just be careful and that's the reason I got actually the um, the table like this because uh, I didn't want to use something like uh, with the height I wanted to keep something like that I can see even when I'm cooking so as you can see the height of this uh, table is very adjustable like it has three kinds of setup and I'm using the shortest um, set up for this stove so it helps me to look at the food while it's cooking um, and so that way it's easier so 
this is the kind of setup you can do in under hundred dollars for sure I also have the other um, counter over there which I also moved from my old kitchen to here but that's also kind of very high so I didn't want to set up the uh, stove on a high um, kind of a counter or somewhere so this is very uh, handy these kind of picnic tables are good and uh, here I have the um, set for uh, um, dining set basically the outdoor dining set so I mean look at it who wouldn't love to just cook here I know sometimes it's really hot but uh, during summertime I finish cooking in like early morning or like late evening if I have to fry something um, so you just have to you know like look for the time and stuff like that but if you want to cook something really quickly you can just you know cook and I'm planning to have a fan over here uh, as well I mean I have right now temporary which I just keep on moving from uh, indoor to outdoor but I'm planning to set up the permanent outdoor fan so that way it will be easier for me I have been planning to upgrade my outdoor kitchen for so long but uh, um, I have not been able to do that but I may do it in the future so before I change uh, I thought let me share the cheapest way one can have um, the pleasure of cooking even outside I cook a lot outside during like winter time even because the weather is beautiful here uh, even in the afternoon um, I mean morning and night would be cold but afternoon and the daytime is is really good here in Florida so um, you know like I, li I love to cook looking at the nature instead of just cooking indoor and you know um, spoiling the air of the house because once we fry something inside the house or once we cook something uh, strong inside the house the aroma stays almost the whole day no matter how much you know you do whether you open up windows or you turn the uh, exhaust fan sometimes those things don't help um, so and that's the reason I love to cook outside I don't have even sink outside and even if I want to carry all the stuff what I normally do I take the big tray I put all the ingredients that I need um, to take it outside and I take the whole tray outside um, that's kind of setup that I do to make it easier to cook outside um, because Florida is very humid and very hot I don't want to store something outside because I my outside porch is not utilized for um, uh, storing something yet it's just open porch so the things can go bad very easily so that's what I do uh, it helps a lot so very efficient way of uh, you know cooking outside I actually set up that kitchen temporary but then it, it became permanent actually because um, I started enjoying a lot uh, most of the time cooking outside so but uh, um, you know like outdoor kitchen is not that hard to build if even if you want to because these days Home Depot Lowe's they have like a really good uh, ready-made um, outdoor kitchens which you can just buy and set up um, um, under 5,000 but uh, I'm just you know going to hold for now and uh, I have a dream that I will get one day I hope you enjoyed watching this video please do like I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new weekly videos. Uh, you can also visit my website baunaskitchen.com for new recipe tips, tricks and ideas in the kitchen. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Baunas Kitchen is everywhere. You can download Baunas Kitchen apps totally free on your iOS, Android and many other mobile devices. You can watch me on a big TV screen using Roku, Amazon or YouTube app itself. Thanks for watching and see you soon.